Jon Snow was born a long time ago, when there was no YouTube, no Facebook, no Google, not even internet. To be exact, he was born in 1813. He was the son of a coal laborer in York, England. As a boy, he proved to be brilliant, methodical, and an eager student. His mother, bless her heart, used a small inheritance to send him to private school. Snow planned to become a physician since he was a little boy. Talk about a guy with no expectations. Anyway, at 14, yes, you heard me right, 14, he became an apprentice of Dr. William Hardcastle. Thanks to his analytical mind and detail-oriented personality, he filled a great number of notebooks with observations on his experiments. Winter is coming! Winter is coming! Not silly! The explanation of cholera is coming. Cholera was a very rapid and undiscriminating disease. Cholera epidemics were very brief but extreme, killing thousands of people in London in the 1800s. What are the symptoms of cholera? Well, cholera is also known as the double bucket syndrome because people experience severe vomit and diarrhea, resulting in the use of two buckets at the same time. You may use your imagination as to where to put the buckets. As a consequence, you, um, people end up with a dying bed of excrement and a death from dehydration. Cholera was believed to be caused by miasma. Miasma are things in the air and in the ground believed to cause disease. However, Jon Snow had a different theory. He believed that cholera was, was spread by tiny organisms in contaminated water. Therefore, initiating the microbe theory. In the middle of 1800s, people didn't have running waters or toilets in their homes. They used town wells and pumps to get waters they used for drinking, cooking, and washing. Septic systems were primitive and most homes and business dumped on trees, sewage, and animal wastes directly into the river. Water companies often bottled their water from the river and delivered it to places. The first case of cholera in England were reported in 1831, about the time John Snow was finishing up his medical study at the age of 18. Between 1831 and 1854, tens of thousands of people in England died of cholera. Although John Snow are deeply involved in experiments using anesthesia, he was also fantasized with researching his theory on how cholera spread. During the next 16 years, Snow earned an MD degree, moved to London, became a practicing physician, and distinguished himself by making the first scientific studies of the effects of anesthesia. By testing the effects of precisely controlled doses of ether and chloroform on many species of animals, as well on human surgery patients, Snow made the use of those drugs safer and more effective. Surgeons who wish to use anesthesia on their patients no longer risk killing them by the unscientific application of chloroform-soaked handkerchiefs to their faces. Snow remained a bachelor with extremely regular habits. His social life consisted mainly of discussing ideas at the regular meetings of the Royal Medical Society. He did a lot of thinking about the possible causes of contagious diseases, and he came to the unconventional conclusion that they might be caused by invisibly tiny parasites. This was not in his own original idea, but it was an unpopular one the first half of the 19th century. The germ theory of disease had been proposed in ancient times, and the discovery of microscopic organisms in the late 1600s had made the theory seem plausible, but no one had ever proved that miniature organisms could make people sick. 
In September of 1848, when Snow was 35 years old and a doctor, a new outbreak of cholera struck London. That sucks. Snow decided to track the progress of the disease to see if he could determine exactly how it was spread. Snow then spoke to a physician who attended the first victim. After speaking with the doctor, Snow started to think that there was a strong evidence of contamination being a main reason for cholera. As more cases appeared, Snow began to examine sick patients. He then started knocking on doors and interviewing families of the victims. He would ask what symptoms they experienced. He was determined to find the source of this horrible and scary disease. What a nice man. After gathering his data, he started mapping each occurrence of cholera. And guess what? He noticed that there was a pattern. This was the birth of the spot map. He discovered that the majority of cholera deaths, as many as 501 10-day period, occurred within a short distance of the Broad Street pump. Within his work, Snow stated, within 250 yards of the spot where Cambridge Street joins Broad Street, there was a upwards of 500 fatal attacks of cholera in 10 days. By using a geographical grid to chart deaths from the outbreak, he was able to pinpoint the source, which was a water pump. He is a genius. John Snow's Accomplishment in 1832, Snow published the first edition of um, The Mode of Communication of Cholera, in which he proposed the origin of cholera is from contaminated water. However, his research wasn't considered by the expert of the time after his death. In March 2003, surveyed by Hospital Doctor magazine, John Snow was voted the greatest doctor of all time. Snow's work was a very important step forward in public health. He was the first person to effectively control a cholera epidemic and daily saving many lives, not only during the ongoing cholera epidemic in London, but in future outbreaks as well.